Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, that day has come everybody. Um, I knew it would come one day. And um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, um, I bought a Grandma Solar Portery, my first ever tranchler, in back in 1995 when I was only 19 years old. And um, this tranchler got me into the hobby when I was very young. And uh, unfortunately, she's uh, passed away. Um, I've had her for 22 years. Um, she was around about four years old when I got her. Um, she was about a three-inch leg span. And um, yeah, she's reached a, a fairly big size. She's around about a five to five and a half inch leg span. And um, yeah, that day has come everybody that uh, unfortunately she's passed away from old age. So, you know, 26 years old, she's, you know, she's done really well. Um, she went into her hide around about two days ago. She don't usually use a hide very much. And um, she usually stays in the corner all the time. And then, uh, yeah, I thought I'd give her a, see how she was, just check her hide. And unfortunately, she's passed away this morning. Um, she's in death curl. And there's no movement whatsoever. So um, I am very gutted about it. But I knew the day would come. You know, if, you know, animals don't live forever. And uh, unfortunately, her time has come. So uh, yeah, let's take the uh, enclosure off the shelf. And uh, let's take a look. So everyone, here's her enclosure. And uh, like I said, she usually stays... In this corner here, and obviously walked around here towards the water dish, and she don't really use a hide very often. So she went in her hide, as I said, a couple of days ago, and I thought, oh, it's a little bit strange. She hasn't come out since. So yeah, as I said, I checked her this morning, and um, unfortunately she's passed away. So um, she's still inside her hide. So let's take the lid off, and uh, let's take the hide out. And there is the old girl, everybody. Yep, in death curl. So let's just lift the hide up. And this is how I found her this morning. Probably two or three hours ago now. And... Um, she probably knew that she was dying. That's why she went into her hide a couple of days ago. And, um, yeah, it comes to us all, I'm afraid. It's just she's passed away from old age after 26 years. Um, she could have been older, you know. I'm only guessing um, how old she was when I bought her in 95. And all I know, all I remember, that she was around about a three-inch leg span. And now she's hit round round about a five, five and a half inch leg span. So let's just pick her up and take her out of her, her home. And there she is, everybody. So I've spread it all, all the legs out so you can actually see what kind of size she is. And uh, if I just put my hand, you know, close to her and you can see how big she was she was a a fairly big girl so yeah I'm um, completely gutted um, I know I've had a few deaths in my collection in the last couple of months but most of them have been from old age and um, I'm getting prepared for my mantis my uh, giant rainforest mantis. Um, she's going to die soon. Um, it's been over five months since she matured. So they only live around about six months after maturity, uh, mantis. So I reckon give it another couple of weeks and she'll be gone as well. So yeah, my, um, sorry about that guys. My oldest tranchula in my collection has sadly passed away and you can see that she had some beautiful colours and the abdomen's gone all very soft and squishy 
So I'll be definitely uh, burying her in the garden today. And um, let's get started. So everyone, I'm out in the garden. And as you can see, I've got her in my hand. Her name is actually uh, Morticia. I don't really name my spiders, but I named her when I first got her. So let's just walk over here. And I've already dug a hole there for her to go in. So yeah, let's uh, put her in the ground and uh, say goodbye. So everyone, there you go. She's inside the uh, hole that I made. And um, yeah, she's been a fantastic uh, tarantula over the last 22 years. Gave me some fantastic videos. And uh, rest in peace, old girl. So let's just put this soil back over. There we go. Rest in peace. So ladies and gentlemen, there you go. My old girl has finally been buried. And uh, this enclosure here, I'll um, get rid of the substrate, keep the fake plant and the water dish and the... Uh, the plant pot. Um, I don't know what uh, tarantula or scorpion I could put in here. I haven't really decided yet but um, I'll let everybody know. So I hope you enjoyed this video everybody and uh, thanks for watching everyone.